a criminal act that's dampening the holiday spirit for sure in Hamburg tonight. Somebody is stealing from an elaborate display outside a home there. And the man who lives there says it is costing him plenty. The homeowner says the decorations are worth hundreds of dollars. And tonight, he just wants them back, no questions asked. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Paula Soro on the story tonight. Went over to those candy canes, stole a, the six foot big bird from there. Ken Boris woke up Sunday morning to find some of his favorite Christmas decorations gone from his village of Hamburg home. I have a real life Grinch living in the village of Hamburg on Route 62. It's odd. Odd, but unfortunately not unusual for Boris, who's been decorating his house on Pierce Avenue every holiday season for over a decade. But for the past few years, thieves have been taking little by little away from his tradition, which takes over a month to put together. There's no reason for it. I mean, it's not bothering you. It doesn't do anything. It just tries to bring smiles in everybody in the neighborhood. This time around, stealing over $300 worth of decorations. Decorations that all together total up to $20,000. A tradition that I've been doing for so long, and it seems like it's become a part of the neighborhood, and I want to continue doing this. I don't want to stop, but if it keeps happening, I I, can, I, can't, I can't keep doing it. I can't keep affording it on my own. Which is why he plans on getting security cameras installed so that this Christmas nightmare doesn't happen again. And just minutes away from that house stands this nativity protected with chicken wire. The wire used to not be there a couple of years ago, but that quickly had to change. We've had the baby stolen a couple times out of it. Uh, we found the three kings uh, on somebody's front lawn one year. And somebody took them out. While taping boxes together at his job at the Linhard mini ship, David Nyhart, remembering the time pieces from the 60 year old relic, started to disappear. I don't know why people do things like that. That's all I can say is it's a shame that you have to take precautions like that. Nyhart says they've also added lights to keep the nativity illuminated at night. And for Boris, he's reached out to police who say they'll increase patrol in his area. In Buffalo, Paula Soro, 7 Eyewitness News.